we're on our way to see one of the movies we wanted to see. So here's the entrance to Hidden Figures. We're so excited about it, getting a chance to see it. We hear it's fantastic, so here we go. We'll talk about it more in a, a new segment that we're doing called T for Two. A new segment called T for Two. A new segment that we're doing called T for Two. So what did you all think of the movie? It was excellent, excellent, excellent. Brought tears to my eyes so many times. Really? So many times. It did for me what was truly inspirational on so many different levels, but mostly because it shows that when we work together, we can do phenomenal things. When we fail to recognize the talent pool and the gifts and the abilities of everyone, then we as a nation, we're not at our strongest point. And um, I attended the uh, the premiere of Hidden Figures on the, on, the, on the premiere night on January 6th. I was invited by uh, uh, some uh, friends who were Alpha Kappa Alpha women, and the, the women who were portrayed in the story were Alpha Kappa Alpha. And so it was a it was a it was a grand celebration that evening. Um, and so uh, that's uh, that's how I found out about it. I mean, I knew about it because the, the promotion has been ex ex very good. Um, and, uh, and, and and I'm looking, you know, and also one of the things that I know that, like, for instance, it was clear that the women, or at least the way they depicted the story, uh, they were Christian women. And so they talked, you know, there was, there was prayer during the, the meal and things yes. of that nature. Yes, yep. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so that, that was, that was, that was well done and, 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 and clearly depicted in the story. Um, the, um, who authored the book, she's, she's on a, she's on a, on a, on a book tour. And she's going to be here in Cleveland in, I think, in early February, uh, sharing her story. And yes, yeah, so hopefully, uh, you know, a lot of other young, young women will be will be exposed to um, and 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 inspired by uh, this remarkable story. We're watching the Lewis Love family on YouTube, and they're talking about their plaid uniform that they always wear, their pajamas. All three of them, the, well, the mom, the dad, and the son, and have, baby girl. have on the same plaid. And then, and what do I see? Plaid PJs. Plaid PJs. Oh, my goodness. And she has a matching top. I don't have it on right now, though. <laughs> a full set of plaid PJs. Voila. What's that? And a black and red bathrobe. See? Plaid. Plaid. I guess that's the end thing. Plaid pajamas. Real men and women wear plaid. enjoying the Rose Bowl Parade this morning. It's a annual tradition in my household. I know I always take the time to watch it, even if um, I'm not with family and friends. It's a great way to start off the new year, and the floats are just so lovely. Oh my, look at that butterfly float. That is absolutely beautiful. Oh, it was so fantastic. Mm -hmm. It's hard to believe that all this is done with flowers. 
It's just unbelievable. Summertime in California. And Hoda's hosting everything. Hoda copy. I love it. I love her. She and Al Roker. Mm-hmm. Both of them bring a, an element of sunshine to whatever they do. What you got there, Jan? Mmm. I'm eating my dessert for breakfast. Left over from our family gathering yesterday. Yummy. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, not much left there. <laughs> There's a little bit more, but I'm going to clean that off very soon as well. <laughs> and I, I see you're spoding your plaid pajamas again. It's funny. Oh, Ooh, that is good. Well, you know what? Today is the official observed holiday, so I am going to lounge around to be a sloth all day long. <laughs> Okay. And then get back in the gym tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, right. Mm-hmm. Hope Springs Eternal. Mm-hmm. Yep, we're just chilling today, and it is nice to just be able to relax and not have anything to do. Okay, and so this is the result of a weekend of holidays and whatnot. Dishes, dishes, and more dishes. More pots. More pots than I ever really want to wash. Yeah, but I know what to do. I put on my gloves. And I just take my time, keep it moving. Oh yes, more pots too big for the dishwasher. So... I'm the dishwasher. Child, I love the holidays, but the cleanup is a mess. Yes, 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 yes. Any kind of special event or activity, boy, you just get ready for the aftermath. But I wanted to show you just what a difference a good Brillo pack can make on a big oven roaster. This is how it began. And the actual roaster looked, the bottom looked the same. It was just this, um, this much baked on discoloration. But here's the after product. Look at that. Shiny. I can almost see my face in it. Though it's a big difference. It's a really old roaster. I think we've had at least 50 years. That's how old it is. But it shined up really nice. Okay, so here are the tools for the project. Baking soda, my go-to for everything. Okay, but a little bit of um, dishwashing liquid, um, steel wool pads of your choice, and um, those are the tools for the project. Add a little bit more baking soda on. I'm sure there's some sort of stain removal or pot cleaner on the market, but, but I didn't happen to have any of that on hand. So I used what I had available. What's well, coming along in just a little bit of discoloration left. Any of you out there know of a good remover that would make this job easier? then put it in the comments below. And there's the finished results. It's not perfect, but it sure is a whole lot better than it was and a lot more appetizing to use. So there you go. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, you know what to do below. Like, like us, comment, subscribe, and, and invite, invite somebody, somebody to watch. Oh,